Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm DK. I'm Rizzo. And I'm Zero. And today in Anime Reaction, watch the fifth episode of Suka Suka. If you want to check out our reaction to the fifth episode of Shumatsu, Shumatsu Nani Shitemasu Ka Isogashi Desu Ka Sukute Marate I Desu Ka, hit that link in the description below. And be sure to give us feedback in the comment section because we love hearing from you. And as always, if you like what you see, subscribe to Otaku Saga. And don't forget to like and share our videos. And, and thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. My mouth went all retarded on that one, on that first bit. <laughs> Cut up with the rest of you. Yeah. Anyway, we finally get that damn recap we've been wanting last week. In like a 30, uh, what, one minute, one minute, uh... Uh, pre-episode Yeah, a just a little nugget, but <laughs> boy, what a nugget it was. It was, it was quite a nugget. I, I certainly enjoyed it. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff I'm re I was really expecting coming into the series, and I'd love a lot more of it. But Are apparently, it's not I fucking love what, it, what the rest of the series is. Yeah. But I was about to say, that's not what the story is really about, though. Um, also, tentacle mecha monster... Thing. With Thing. the laser crystal in its forehead that wrecks shit up, <laughs> that was awesome. That was pretty pretty awesome. Awesome and grotesque. Love it. Yep. Good monster design, that. And it turns out to be a whole new enemy, so uh, that's why Limeskin calls for a tactical retreat. So it wasn't necessarily that uh, things were going completely south, it's higher higher ups decided that uh, it's too dangerous to continue so we're going to just back out smart which move. i like smart move yep yeah yeah don't sacrifice your awesome fairy weapons uh, until you know what the hell you're dealing with you yeah, yeah smart lizard thing maybe. maybe i don't know it still bugs me about that fairy fairy door or whatever i forgot i forgot exactly what it was called fairy gate i think yeah the fairy gate and it then, still bugs me that everybody's so easy to use that, or at least so it seems up to this point. Well, I mean, for years, probably generations, you know, the fairies have been bred this way. And that's why, you know, during the dodgeball game early in the series, the little girls, you know, they just, they're going to go until they collapse. That's all, you know, that's all I know. I can kind of agree that this is war, as Tanix was pointing out in chat, mm. but... World War, yeah, World War Two. Uh, you know, the soldiers were not necessarily. They weren't as suicidal, well, at least uh, on the Allied side. Well, yeah, but they were still kind of like pawns. Nowadays, it's not like that. Not as much. Yeah, nowadays it's more expensive to train a soldier. <laughs> Quality over quantity. Right. You don't fight great wars of attrition like the Battle of Stalingrad or the Siege of Stalingrad. Sort of. Sort of. But, uh, yeah, basically they had been bred to not, you know, fear death. So it's like, oh, hey, we had a premonition that you're going to open the fairy gate. Okay. If that's what I got to do, that's what I got to do. Yeah. And the concept of uh, fighting to not die was only recently introduced, so it's going to take some time to adjust, I imagine. Pac-Man Chef was awesome. But yeah, most of the episode was, uh, I guess, a story with um, that dog. This dog woman. thing on the screen. This is a lycanthrope. Yeah, well, yeah, that's what they call theirs. Yeah. But um, yeah, most of the story was... A bit about her. I guess she's the daughter of the mayor of that town. And the mayor had received an assassination uh, threat because he's going to introduce some po new policies that are beneficial towards the... Uh, what, uh, the, the disfeatured? Yeah. The, the, the defeatured? The disfigured. Oh, basically uh, everyone who's not uh, full-on man-beast. Pretty much, yeah. They wanted to roll, tee -hee. But, um... Yeah, I mean, that, that was basically most of the episode was them going around the town with her and her showing them more 
movie sites. What is it with the cinema fangirls in this universe? Good God. <laughs> and of course, Willem wanting to do the deal. <laughs> Hashtag Matthews. That's he awesome. He knew his phrasing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he phrased it like that on purpose. No, I like I like the reaction of the uh, the other dude. What's, What's the, the deal? deal? Rot, rot, rot. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Cosimo would be proud. Mm. Um. Yeah, and then we get that. Um, Catholi goes through oh, this. Oh God, that acid trip from hell. Yeah, acid trip from hell. Not exactly sure how else to put that, because I can't really make out anything that's going on inside that. Mm. Like, I think the first the first time it was just it, it was this weird story that didn't quite make sense. Spoken by a little girl. This goes back to me saying that I would have preferred it if they did not do that in media res opening to the first episode. Right. Because this is obviously foreshadowing that whatever change Catholi has that ends up changing her hair red. And yeah. Her eyes red, obviously. And the fact I that really, she really in a hate that situation. They, like I really hate that they did that in media res. But yeah, because if they didn't do that, this would have caught us totally, like, totally by surprise. Um, just for, you know, its value to the story, not because of how shocking it is. It could have had a one-two punch, but instead just hit us I mean, with this. It still had a shock. It well, yeah. It came out of nowhere, but... Yeah, and it, uh, as TKS says, it is also literally in the opening. <laughs> oh, Ithia. Oh, holy uh, running in jokes. But um, but yeah, the uh, basically because they had the in media res part, and then also because it's in the opening, when that part came up, like it was disturbing because of the way that they did it with the young voice actress and everything. Yeah, and uh, they would do a very good job making a horror anime, <laughs> but. You know, I was like, oh, so this is where this comes into play. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like, oh my god, what's going on? It's, oh, this. It's like, oh, yeah. Like I said, the only impact you get is from the visuals, which are genuinely disturbing. Um, <laughs> Nailed ju it. Just so we can get through the rest of this episode and get on with topic discussions. Um... Saving the lycanthrope was quite... Oh, come on. You know that was awesome. Uh, somebody needs to pull up some uh, railgun picks here. <laughs> <laughs> because that's basically what he what he did, except minus the electromagnetism. A certain disfigured yeah. railgun. That was... There we go. <laughs> Bang. Bang. <laughs> I, I just love the fact that he distracted them with a with a finger gun while flicking <laughs> coins fast enough to knock them the fuck out. Right. I'm. It just makes me curious as what the fuck he what else he can is he capable of. Yeah, that's some fascist stampede type shit right there. Yeah. Bang, <laughs> bang, <laughs> bang. Like bang. like that one uh, in that one oh. episode of the. The duelist competition. It's exactly. Where he was he was flicking coins and hitting bullets out of the was, air. He was throwing, he was throwing rocks. Throwing rocks. Oh, rocks. But, but he, so. he was he was flicking rocks and hitting bullets while they were flying in midair to throw off their trajectory just yeah. enough. Just enough so people wouldn't die. Crazy um, shit like that. Uh, I also like. Uh, <laughs> Not only was he throwing the coins fast enough to knock people out, he threw the coin fast enough to knock a guy out who was on a rooftop across the courtyard. Yeah. And knocking him back as if they've been hit with real bullets. <laughs> Goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> right? Not gonna lie, Nephrim was adorable in the beginning part of the episode. Oh my god, Nephrim making the case for best Dondra. Yeah. Between that and the little staircase scene, holy shit. But I still like Athea. Athea. Trolling cat girl. Or cat hair girl. 
Yeah, I actually have to wonder, did she start wearing her hair like that so that people wouldn't immediately re uh, think that she was a disfigured? That very well may be the case. Hmm. Less human you appear, the better. Yeah. Okay. Because okay. I, I could see that from a distance, people would be like, oh, you know, it's just a person with cat ears. Hmm. That very well may be. Hmm. Gotta have purple hair. <laughs> no, no, Catholi wins on that logic. You gotta have blue hair. Um, and we leave we leave off with Willem and a sudden name drop and a sudden name drop. Oh boy! And Willem taking off to uh, deal with said name drop. I love how he dealt with that. You know, he talks with the bunny officer and all that. Walks by him, ready to ignore him. Go back to the island. Name drop happens. Ah, uh, you're right. I can't walk away after hearing that. He's going to beat that was, someone's ass. That was pretty <laughs> chilly. <laughs> and then there's that. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Uh. Yes, we did. We're, we're trying not. We're trying to avoid a heart attack here. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker! <laughs> it's okay, it's Kumo. He's dri just driving the knife into his own chest. <laughs> <laughs> Death flags everywhere. Yeah. Well, yeah, with that, with that media uh, res opening, though, yeah, we raised the death flag on this series from the beginning. Yep. Well, at least with the media res part, you know a few of the characters that are going to at least make it to that point. Right. Mmm, okay. Ho oh, ho. Yes. Yeah, that would be an important name drop. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. Um. I think we've covered everything in the episode. I hope so. We didn't really talk about Pac Man, but. Pac Man and a shawarma joint? Just went out for shawarma. <laughs> <laughs> I have to wonder, what is Pac-Man's race in this anime? He's a Pac-Man. Pac -Man is danger. Well, you, you, you gotta feel that pill habit somehow, <laughs> or that uh, ghost-busting hobby. I guess waka, if you want to be waka, nice. Waka, 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 waka. Yeah. So, I, yeah, I think we covered pretty much everything. I found this episode enjoyable. Ah, yes. Best fan art. <laughs> <laughs> I found this episode enjoyable. I know apparently a bunch of people really don't, really are not liking this series because it doesn't have a, very much action. That's the same with recreators. They, they hate that it doesn't have a lot of action. It's mo yeah, it's mostly like exposition. It's mostly story, yeah. I forgot uh, what how many how many but episodes. I actually this prefer I actually prefer the more exposition than more action. So. Yeah, I forgot how many episodes this one was slated for. Was it twelve or twenty four? I think this one was twelve. Twelve or thirteen. Twelve or thirteen. Mm -hmm. One core. Yeah, one 12. core, huh? Oh boy. Hmm. So yeah, they got they got a lot of explaining to do. I'm probably not gonna get to. Oh yeah. They that end punch. the the end where all that you hear is <laughs> Totes deserve that one. Totally <laughs> deserve that. Um It's gonna tear him up and turn him in the stew in a lucky charm. Right. Uh I didn't wanna I didn't wanna talk a little bit about the the whole acid trip thing. Hmm. I wanted to throw a little speculation out there because we did get the immediate res. And we know that something is going on with Catholi, but I wonder if it has something to do with the fact that she didn't open the fairy gate when she was supposed to. Supposed to. Yeah, that's kind of so what it's I'm like too. rewritten hmm. something, rewritten fate of some sort. So we're expecting some final destination type shit. Something like that. Hmm. I don't know. It's certainly very weird. It could be a, what do they call it? It could be a side effect of the venonium poisoning. Maybe she used a shit ton of magic in that fight, and then it's that's just a side effect. Well, Willem needs to do the deal then. 
He does need to do the deal. Anyway, so let us know what you thought of the anime, what you thought of our reaction in the comment section below. Yep, thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you like But that's going to do it for this episode of Anime Reaction. As always, I'm DK. I'm Zero. And I'm Rizzo. See, See you, you next time. time. And go ahead and click on my face to go to our most recent Otaku Saga Talks. Click on my face to go to Otaku Saga Gaming, our gaming channel. And click on the white face to subscribe to Otaku Saga. If you'd like to help support us, please go ahead and check out our Patreon page.